What's up guys, this is Walid. Um, today's problem is going to be the floating cylinder. So we're now in physics 3 and I had to take to change my major to electrical engineer. So let's see. So in this question we got two cylinders and what they gave us, they gave us the height of each cylinder. It gives the radius of each cylinder. So what they want us to find, they want us to find the um, ratio of the height that's not inside of the water, you know, each one. So H2 divided by H1, that's what they want us to find. Very right, cool. So let's find the buoyant force. Buoyant force is, there's two equations. So on each, let's say that we're going to work on this one only. Um, so on each one, so this point, there's the weight pushing down, weight of the whole cylinder, and there's a buoyant force acting up because it's um, not moving too. So force buoyant, buoyant force minus the weight will be equal to MAY. Okay, the acceleration. This is Newton's second law. Newton second law. So since there's no motion in it, so you just take this to zero. So the buoyant force will be equal to the weight, weight of the cylinder, okay? So this is going to be equal to weight of the cylinder will be mg, weight of the cylinder. And the mass, mass is equal to rho of the cylinder times the volume of the cylinder, okay? So this will be equal to... C times G and the volume of the cylinder is just the area multiplied by time the length that's how I remember it <coughs> all right so rho C and so the volume is and the area of a circle is pi r squared the volume times L then times G. Okay, so this is the buoyant force from this um, B. And then there is the the buoyant force according to Archimedes is equal to the this the weight of the displaced fluid. So weight of displaced. Okay, so what are we gonna do? The weight of the displaced fluid. The fluid in this case is water. So we're gonna use raw of water. So this is the same thing. So it's m g. Okay, and the mass in this case is the um, the mass in this case of the displaced water is the Rho of water, this uh, the density of the water times the volume of of this area, the volume of this thing, just under the water because of the displaced one. Okay, so volume of the displaced, and then times g. Times g. So it's raw. So the volume of this guy is so rho and the volume, which is pi r squared times. And so the length of this guy is l to l minus h. I'm saying l because just in general, I don't want to specify just for this one. So it's l minus h, okay, times g it's a force okay so we got these two equations so let's set these equal to each other this guy and this guy so p rho c pi r squared l g is equal to this rho w pi r squared l minus h G. So we can see we can take off the G's in here. 
Right. What we can take is the pi and r squared. Okay, okay. So what we're left with is we're left with L minus H equal. So we're left with so it's here it's P rho of the cylinder times L divided by rho of the water. Okay, so we want to solve for H, so H is gonna be equal, is it still showing? Look this guy a little bit. So rho rho C L divided by rho water is so minus L. So this is gonna be equal to H. We're just solving for this. So this is the equation we got now. So just making it more simple. Let's take to the sign. So H will be equal to, take L out, so it's 1 minus P C divided by P W. Okay. So this is the equation for the H um, for each each one of them because um, both have the cylinders. And they have the same area, same everything. Um, same way of figure out the area, not the same area, because it's different shapes, different R's. But if you look at it, it doesn't depend on the radius of the cylinder. It just depends on the height. So what they want us to do is they want to find this H2 divided by H1. And if you look at it, they have, um, the both cylinders had the same density and both of them are submerged in water. Like they're both are floating on water. Okay, so when we divide H2 divided by H1, okay, so it's L1, L2, 1 minus P, rho C, rho W, the 1 minus P. Both of these are the same value, so we can take them out. Actually, this is 2, this is 1. Okay, so H2 divided by H1 is going to just equal to L2 divided by L1. So my values for these was, this one is one, 0 0.1, this one 0 0.2. So this is just equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, so this is the answer. Hope this gets help. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll try to help you. So I'll see you guys.